So, like, you were on the same card when Owen Hart passed, mm -hmm. and you were the second match after the incident. What was the locker room like after that incident? Wrestling's a funny business, man. I mean, when you talk about that happening, people were like, okay, where, where, where's the gimmick? You're like, uh, when's he coming back? No one believed it. The only, two, the only people that knew what had happened was Vince and the guys in the ring, the referee and the other guy. Everybody else was like, okay, what's up? Because they always do that. They always want the boys to believe what something happened, right? So everybody's always trying to pull a quick one to get the boys to buy into something like it was that good, right? And that was kind of the thought process. Everybody's just going, come on, man. They wheeled him out, man, and he literally was strapped down. And, and I remember as he's rolling through, everybody's like, man, he's going to get up here. And then they put him in the ambulance, and he took off, and he's going, man, they were really working this. It, did, it wasn't for, I would say, probably the next day when, when we were actually told, hey, Owen's dead. Even though we were told that night, everybody was like, yeah, whatever. That's, that's a bad rib, right? But it just didn't register. And I don't personally, I don't think it registered to a lot of guys for a, a while. I just don't think people in that world that with, with putting on all those, those entertainment and different things that anybody really never accepted the fact that it was real. The wow. fans never accepted it for six months. They kept screaming, we want Owen, we want Owen, well, he's dead. <laughs> and wow. it was so, it was so hard for everybody to get by that because you, nobody accepted it. Nobody, it wasn't like you in the regular world, you, you, you know, somebody says he's dead, they're dead. Yeah. In this, it was almost like in the back of your head, you're like, okay, you're he's coming back. Me. Yeah, you're trying to get me. Right. Yeah. So that was a really, really uncomfortable uh unsettling situation because even myself I was like man that looked real and, and in my mind but part of mine I'm going yeah that was that was real he's, he's gone and the other part of it is like man and then they come back six months later and they do the animal thing where he falls off the, the Megatron yeah and I'm like Phew, that was so t I'm like are you kidding me mm-hmm and people were still, I mean, even it was that long, people were still like, is Owen really dead? I mean, obviously we knew at that yeah, time, but passed, still yeah. there was that question. And, and it was almost like the believable part, you just couldn't believe it. You don't want to believe it. And then they do that, and you're like, oh, man, where are we going with this? You know, like, come on. Yeah, I, I couldn't imagine that. So there was <laughs> just the locker room was just lots of questions, huh? It was, it was... People cried, I mean, uh, just the thought of it. But, man, I, like I said, I really don't believe people understood. And, and I know the fans did. Yeah. The fans were like, oh, Well, I was one of them. I watched it. I, yeah, I, I watched it live. I thought yeah. it was just, ah, oh, come on. Yeah, right. A good gimmick. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's good. Yeah. Well, that was a good one, right? And, um, but, and, and even with the boys when it was coming out, I mean, we all knew what we saw. We all knew the reality of it, but the acceptance of it just it's almost like, well, I don't want to. I don't want to put myself out there. And he gets up and makes us all look stupid, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, that was hard for his family because they knew he was gone, yeah. right? How, how was Owen Hart as a person, human being? He was really a good dude, man. He was fun to be around. He's one of those kind of guys. Everybody got along with him. There was, I don't think there was one person that didn't like Owen. 